Many Americans die in hospitals and nursing homes while receiving care that does not align with what their wishes are. This is due to not knowing what end-of-life care options are available and not talking about them with health care providers. There are many options and choices when it comes to end-of-life care. For example, if someone would prefer to die at home while receiving care and they make it known to health care providers and family, it is more likely that their wish will be honored. Some older people and people with terminal illnesses may choose to opt out of life-saving measures such as CPR or intubation to avoid the unwanted and often not talked about trauma that follows those procedures. That is why it is important for us to talk about our end-of-life decisions and our wishes so that they can be carried out later. Palliative care is a resource for anyone living with a serious or chronic illness longer than six months, such as cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and many others. Palliative care is provided by a team that works with the patient, family, and other doctors caring for the patient to provide social, medical, and emotional support. The team consists of doctors, nurses, social workers, nutritionists, and even chaplains. Palliative care can be provided virtually anywhere, in hospitals, nursing homes, specialized outpatient clinics, and even home. Palliative care does not require for treatment that might cure an illness or serious illness to be stopped, and can even begin at a time of diagnosis of a chronic illness. Over time, if the team believes that this plan isn't helping, palliative care can transition into hospice care if the doctor believes the patient will die within six months. Sadly, sometimes a cure or recovery isn't always possible. Sometimes a patient chooses to opt out of certain treatments. That is where hospice comes in. Hospice care does not attempt to cure or slow the disease. What does hospice do? Shouldn't we be saving these people if they have six or less months to live? Hospice care requires a team of specialized nurses, doctors, social workers, spiritual advisors, and trained volunteers. They all come together to provide the dying person, caregiver, or family member the medical, emotional, and spiritual support needed. Hospice can be provided at home, nursing homes, and hospitals. Usually, by that time, the person on hospice is on bed rest to avoid being uncomfortable. Hospice doesn't even have to be permanent. People have survived their life expectancies by up to years. People have also been known to graduate from hospice and use a different plan of care. These choices seem to be years away. It feels as if the time is too far away for us to even worry about life choices now. But those, however, are not the only choices to be made for our final breaths. How would a doctor know what you want or don't want if you are unable to respond due to a coma or losing all brain function or your ability to speak? Who makes your life decisions if you are unable to make them? That is where power of attorney comes in. You get to decide who will make your decisions for you in case you are unable to. You can choose if you want CPR, a machine to breathe for you, and even when to stop life-saving measures. When in writing or communicated with family, patients can pass with dignity, knowing their final wishes have been honored. Speaking with family and your doctor can clarify hard ethical decisions that may be left to your loved ones to be made. Think about what you would want and what you wouldn't want and talk about them. In doing this, your wishes can be fulfilled. Your family will be relieved of the stress and burden and guilt that comes with making hard decisions for others. Thank you.